Hi Scorpio family, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. Uh, before we get into it, if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. Um, if you would like a personal reading also, that information is in the description box below, how to reach me, how to make a payment. Um, I do, ex excuse me, I do accept Venmo and Cash App. Um, please send a payment as well as your questions for the reading. Please don't forget to the questions. Excuse me, forget the questions. I did announce the um, winner of the free reading and please forgive me. I think it was Karen. Oh, I can't remember now. You had two last names. Anyway, your information or name is in the um, on my community tab. I did make an announcement who received the free donation 15 minute reading or free, who, uh, whose name I drew, excuse me, whose name I drew for the 15 minute free reading. If I can get it out, y'all, right? Anyway, so uh, it's on the community tab. Uh, what else? And I just thought about it again. I know I forgot in my last reading. I've just had so much going on. I know you guys say, don't, don't ask us to forgive you anymore, but please forgive me. It really has been kind of a challenging couple of weeks for me. And energetically, I've just been really trying to also take care of me and take uh, the time that I need to be as positive as I can be through transitions and changes that we're having to make. So I love you guys for showing up. Um, if you'd like to donate, these are free readings, so any donations are much appreciated. Um, again, as I stated before, I do accept Venmo and Cash App. I do also have a GoFundMe link. Many of you guys know um, I'm having to move, an emergency move for our safety. Um, I love and, and appreciate every single one of you guys that have reached out and donated. Um, you are really helping us make this happen really fast. Fingers crossed. Um, things will be changing really soon. Um, I hope so. Uh, I, we are only like shy of like 500 of what we needed for the actual move. And um, we've actually got some other crazy stuff. I, I took a break yesterday. <laughs> um, because I just had to get myself my head right. Well, half the afternoon I was spending, you know, getting my car towed back home because something's happened to it. And um, anyway, guys, I've been going through it and I don't know a whole lot about cars. My suspicions are the gas tank was tampered with, the gas tank light thing is on um, and it's doing some weird shit and it won't run and start. And, um, but there's, the gas cap is actually on. So anyway, hopefully it's not going to cost me a fortune to fix or I'm not going to be carless. I'm not even trying to go there in my mind right now. Um, and I'm trying to stay as positive. So I did take a day off yesterday because everything that we've been experiencing, again, like I said, there's not a whole lot I can say, but just to give you kind of an idea of what I'm going through, that's a little bit of it. And that's why it's important for us to kind of go ahead and get the hell away from where we're at. Um, which sucks, you know, people are shitty and it's, I mind my own business and I'm nice to everyone and it, you know what I mean? It still happens. Um, anyway, so, you know, guys, I just had to take a day off. So I love and appreciate you. Um, so I'm just kind of rolling with it right now. I wanted to get some messages out. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, when I was um, I know you guys are like, you're quite, are gonna, I'm sorry. I just had a thought like, and the only reason I do think somebody tampered with it is because I had a message this week about somebody wanting revenge with me <laughs> anyway. And, and then it was like, okay, a few days later I get that or that happens in my life. And so it just, it is what it is. Um, hopefully that's not what happened, but my I just have a weird feeling in my stomach, y'all. So, again, we're trying to hurry up and get the heck out of here. <laughs> um, and I appreciate every single one of you that have um, reached out and been sweet and helped us. Um, I mean, th again, like I said, that's a little bit that I can explain. There's a lot that I can't and, I'm, and, and don't feel comfortable because also I don't want anything else crazy happening before we're out of here. So... I love you guys, and, and again, thank you for your love and support. Um, 
Scorpio, this says you're capable of great change. I wasn't even going to pull that card out, but that's, you know, one of those things too. It's like, no matter what you go through, you have to keep that, 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 uh, that mentality, that state of mind, you are capable of great change, right? So no matter what life brings, right? Understand that you can really, and this is, you know, it's, it's me, you know, um, honestly, it's me um, practicing what I preach right now too. It's like no matter what challenges life brings you, you know, uh, you are capable of, of, of great things, right? No matter what happens and to keep a positive mindset, right? So Scorpio, um, tenacious energy with the honey badger. I love it when the honey badger shows up too energetically. Uh, many of you guys know, or I'll, I don't know if you watched the videos where after I took my daughter on a little day or weekend trip for her birthday, um, or around her birthday, it was for her birthday, but, um, I found this copy of this book randomly, the honey badger, and it was actually a vintage version. And, you know, I was like, okay, I must, you know, be connecting with the honey badger spirit animal. And it, um, <laughs> it was, uh, the honey badger and um basically what the honey badger excuse me represents it's it's like a it's a fierce little animal and it and it was you know representation of fighting for the life that you want right and not giving up scorpio so again that kind of coincides with that message too um wow what was that that was loud confirmation <laughs> Maybe some of you are going to be shocked, right? It's like, I don't know. Things that you thought weren't possible will be possible, right? So with judgment here on the table, um, your overall energy, we have the five of pentacles. So uh, for some of you ooh, with the five of wands, you're kind of stepping away from a situation where there's been a lot of chaos, fighting and drama, you do have somebody behind the scenes either watching out for you or watching here because the Knight of Swords is right, right underneath that. But with the Five of Pentacles here with this energy, um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, did you guys see that? The flicker that was lightning. Um, there's a mother and child here, right? Feeling left out in the cold. There's the mother card. So I'm definitely talking about a mother here and a situation. Because that's the this deck says mother of air, mother of whatever, right? So um when it comes to the queen. So I'm definitely talking, you could have a lot of air in your chart. Um, or this could that could just be representation of thinking about you know, things uh, really being deep in thought in regards to some things right now that have involved drama, chaos, whatever this five of wands, competitive energy, whatever this is, there is this element of feeling like isolated with the five of pentacles or disconnected, left out in the cold, left behind. All right. So you are being freed though from some type of anxiety, uh, worry and fear with whatever this is. Judgment is here. So again, this could be anything karma uh, coming for somebody's ass, coming for that ass, right? I don't feel like it's you Scorpio because you're being freed from some type of anxiety. So if you've dealt with a situation here where there's been drama, um, some type of oppressive energy here too with this five of pentacles, um, there's freedom here, okay? Now, and it could even be something in forward movement with a car. Uh, you could be dealing with a situation. Uh, you could be, you know, um, six of swords moving to calmer waters. Uh, chariot is forward movement, stepping away from chaos, getting uh, three of wands. There's a community here, energy here um, in regards to whatever's going on here with you um, and helping set you free from whatever this anxiety might be that's very positive that will be um, with the moon card here it's like it, I feel like it's even energies maybe um, that you don't even realize or didn't even realize that would be there for you through something uh, yeah because you're this is 
this is Scorpio energy, transformation energy, some type of a serious transformation or transition going on. Like you're strong as fuck. Scorpios, there's the lightning again. It's like the storms that we go through, right, in life. Um, it's tough being a Scorpio, right? We're born and we go through a lot of shit through our lifetime. Um, I just, I mean, it's, it's just crazy to me how so many Scorpios have such similar stories or just, you know, experiences or just, you know, have uh, such intense transformations, battles and transformations, right? But that's, that's what we do. That's what we're here to do in our lifetime. So Scorpio with the moon card though here, I feel like for you, um, there is this, it's almost kind of like I'm getting this sense of, okay, you know, uh, maybe the world's not that bad, right? So coming out of this energy of like dealing with some shit people or bad energies maybe, um, but also having a tight knit community or friend group or commu a community. Um, and this is something that you've manifested with the magician too. Um, Cause I just split the deck to that. Something that, you know, you've actually also brought some level of love and abundance in your life too, that is actually going to help you. You know, don't be scared to, with this trans transformation, um, you know, connect, right? Um, and, and not let something, um, either one, let you live in fear or two, uh, make you slide back into an energy of isolation when it's, you know, not necessary. Like I get it, I'm a Scorpio, we need our alone time, but there's also, especially with whatever this energy is, it's important for you to be connecting in higher vibrations with people as well. Um, and not letting the lower vibrational experiences with crap people discourage you from any type of experience with anyone, right? Turn into that that ice cold Scorpio ice queen and ice king energy. Yeah, there's the tower, the number 16th, the date, the 16th could be significant um, in regards to something doesn't necessarily have to be, but again, this is either current tower energy Scorpio for you um, or will be in the near future. Let me shuffle one more time. I didn't see the ace of wands too. So for some of you, it could be in regards to a sexual connection, sexual situation connected to it. I'm not ready to do tarot yet. So let's do Oracle cards and let's do overall energy. Let's do one of these cards for the overall energy for Scorpio spirit. Overall energy for Scorpio. Seven of Cups, Scorpio. I love it. So again, um, I feel like some of you will be getting a different perspective in the next seven to 14 days about options that you do have, looking at options that you do have moving forward, understanding that moving forward, you do have options, right? Um, if you've been coming from a place where you felt like there's a level of oppression or some type of setback in some way, shape or form, this is spirit saying, look, you know, there's going to be a shift here with perception. Um, some of you, um, it's even creating options here. Uh, very smart, very intuitive people, very creative because this says imagination so it's even like all right well you know kind of finding your way out of a maze right if anybody can do it a Scorpio can do it right um it's the energy kind of of all right well I've come up with a solution or options here where you know um last week a day ago whatever that never would have crossed my mind is what I'm getting so let's see what other messages we have here for Scorpio what's coming out with the oracle I love thunderstorms, y'all, especially when it's nice and warm outside. I've got the window open. Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides. Now, if I were just next to the ocean, I would be in heaven right now. <laughs> what messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios? What messages do we have for my lovely Scorpios? What do you seek, Scorpio? All right, when this comes out, this card to me is representation of what we think we are, right? It's, it's you've got to get into that mentality of what is it that you want in your life? What is it that you are seeking, right? Seeking, excuse me. So um, we'll take these two because I said I was only going to do three of these so and stop with these. But again, understand that there needs to be a shift and if 
like if it's something as simple as affirming, right? So again, like what I'm talking about going through transformations and in my own personal life, sometimes it's easier said than done, but you know, instead of wallowing in, oh, woe was me, this shit fucking sucks. I can't believe this is happening or getting mad and, and, and upset and sitting it and staying in it, right? I have to get in more of a solution like, all right, uh, universe, thank you for blessing me with whatever I need, right? Whether it's a new car now or whatever, right? It's just he's like, thank you in advance for, you know, or helping things, help things work out for me. And, and, and thank you in advance for uh, my new home. Thank you in advance for my new job. Thank you in advance for my new partner. Or just thank you. I, I'm so grateful for what you have given me. Or thank you for bringing me a universe for you know, or affirming, I deserve a faithful, loving partner. I deserve wealth. I deserve whatever it is that you want, Scorpio. It's just that, that energy of like, you know, saying it, believing it, um, being grateful for it, right? And understanding that, you know, it's time, right? That time is precious. So for some of you, there is, you know, a situation here for some of you where it's like you got to fight for something, not in a bad way. It's just kind of like <laughs> that energy of like, all right, I'm taking life by the balls again. This is the life that I want. I'm coming up with a solution here with the seven of cups. Now it's the energy of, again, because we did pull the magician, whether it's, you know, prayer, uh, meditation, whatever, manifesting, right? It's time. And this is also represent, representation of understanding that time is also precious, right? So with this energy, um, Scorpio, um, time is precious. Like for me, you know, the older I get, and I think because of what I've experienced too, the people that I choose to spend my time with, it's very valuable. They mean a lot to me, right? Time is precious. The people that I choose to spend time with are important to me and it's important time, right? I don't like to waste my time. Now I understand you gotta, you know, if you're in the dating game and you're out there dating and, and, and meeting and connecting, obviously you're gonna have to um, hang out with somebody to even see if you vibe, right? So, but also don't stick around in situations right it, this is spirit saying you know when I see this card the message that I get is don't stick around in situations where you are literally wasting your time whether it is a situation where it's one-sided you're not getting what you want you're not happy whatever it might be Scorpio a loveless situation whatever it is if it's time to move on because you're not happy, it is time, right? Life is too short. This is what Spirit is saying. And also, again, you have to understand that just like you have the ability to bring the things that you want into your life, you have the ability to bring some shit that you don't want into your life as well. And there has to be also maybe a perception shift here with these two things, right? And this is also, again, with options, this as imagination. So that all makes sense too, right? So there is the need to sleep or the importance of sleep right now as well. So listen to your body, right? So if you haven't been getting enough rest, take the time to rest, take the time out. You know, uh, I understand it's like, you know, maybe, you know, it's springtime, people are getting out, uh, it's hotter, <laughs> people are wearing less clothes, whatever, right? Whatever it is, Scorpio, but the energy of like, not, I'm just feeling somebody like feels like they're scared to miss something or this or that or whatever. It's like, just get some fucking rest, right? Take the time out to take care of yourself first, number one, no matter what. Even if it's like um, a connection, right? Where, you know, you're working and you're trying to involve yourself with a connection, seeing someone, right? Um, and say this person, you know, has or wants to see you every night of the week and, and, and you're kind of like getting beat, right? And you need to take some time out to just take care of yourself and sleep for a day or a night or whatever. Don't be scared to do that, right? This is spirit saying also, you know, time is important for you. Um, time isn't, you need sleep. Number one, that's when the body heals itself too. So again, if it doesn't even have to do with a personal like relationship, relationship, it's just showing up like take care of yourself, Scorpio. Don't forget to get the rest. Um, and take the time here with time being important too to take care of yourself as well you know and this is for my parents single parents parents whoever right you don't have to be a single parent to be tired right and taking care of everybody else but you um you know it's that energy of right i'm doing 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 for everybody else and at the end of the day what am i doing for me you got to make sure you're taking that time to do that my loves all right so some of you spirit is saying look i split the deck and went straight to nature um, really get out in nature, spend some time, 
connecting with source and nature, right? Get grounded. Um, you could really, really feel not grounded at the moment. And that's the, one of the, the easiest, I feel like ways for me to get grounded is, is getting out in nature. And even if it's just walking, right? Um, so I had a crow show up at my back door today and I was like, hmm, hungry, right? <laughs> the ancestors are here with messages and they are hungry Scorpio. <laughs> I threw some bread out. I hope, I hope, uh, he got it. So anyway, um, now I'm being drawn to use the crow deck. So let's do it. Um, spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. So I kind of feel like this is you with your energy right now. I'm getting like this tingly feeling like, of. uh, it's like being proud of yourself, whatever it is that you're doing, the transformation, it's just kind of like, oh, all right, you know, like, I get this now. And people are looking at you like, how does Scorpio do it, right? This is the anomaly. This is the mystery. Um, and there's something about you with this energy that's powerful. You stand out. Uh, this could be the energy that literally is creating all these wonderful, beautiful options for you right now. Um, so Scorpio, I like this so far. <laughs> I like it. Wow. Okay. The number 33 could be significant. Something about evening time and being, being influenced. Um, and having, if you're an influencer in any way, shape, or form, um, this is also too, this could be like the night shift, right? We've got the morning shift, the night shift, whatever it is. If you're a reader, intuitive, and you're on YouTube, yeah, look, this is a community message too. You know, um, spirit could be saying, you know, you know, your energy, your presence might be needed because we've also got ascended masters energy working with ascended mas masters in some type of an evening energy environment. We've got influence here also. Um, there could be a community influence here that Ascended Masters are also helping protect you from. Just saying. Uh, I got both of those messages. So, let's see. What else do we have, Spirit? As hard as it is, and I had to do this yesterday, last night, today, um, really focus because I just saw the here and now and then there was lightning flickering confirmation focus on the here and now Scorpio um, it's gonna help you especially if you're going through something stressful and, and, and you know what does worry do nothing right um, creates a level of fear that we just don't need in our life and so um, if there's something here with influence, some type of energy here or community influence or something that's caused you to either worry about uh, the future, things that are going on, spirit really wants you to focus on just staying in here and now, in the here and now, in the present moment, whatever it is that you're doing, you know, get hyper focused into it, you know, <laughs> read, uh, do something that makes you feel good. I mean, for me today, especially earlier, I had to really hyper focus on just the here and now being at peace and just in the moment and not stressing, right? having to just not allow that negative energy to like impact me any more than it already has. And it's easier said than done. Oftentimes, you know, um, it gets easier with practice. I will say that, right? Um, but you know, easier said than done. Depends on what you've got going on, Scorpio. Um, but the message wanted to come out. So be in the here and now, my loves. With this energy, there's infinite potential. I like that they, that came out. Very high, very high vibrational energy, excuse me. The number 41 could be significant, okay? What other messages? One more with this Oracle deck. Awakening, all right? So some of you, well, this is that spiritual awakening energy or waking up to something here. Uh, this could be a level of divine guidance in a situation, um, feeling divinely guided and a direction. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Oh, wow. Okay. So there's definitely been a situation, because I keep looking at this community energy, and I feel like that's talking to me. So for some of you, there's been a situation involving a community. And here with this honey badger energy, some of you could be in this energy of, look, I'm used to having to fight for my life, fight for, for what I want, fight for everything that I have. God damn it, right? It's just this energy of, right? And some people don't get that, right? And you can come across as just maybe a little bit like 
harder around the edges. Sometimes as Scorpios, we can be, and we're really, we're really big softies on the inside, but I feel like for some of you, I'm picking up this energy of, there's this hard exterior that's been going on for so long, or is, there's a lot of healing going on right now and releasing this grief, this pain, this um, uh, understanding that whatever this has been for you, I feel like this is part of the awakening, right? Understanding that losing something has only been an opportunity to appreciate it, to appreciate what you had, what you have now. Again, connecting with that here and now energy, okay? So some of you, and if it has to do, like for some of you with connections, it's like seeing, all right, what went down? What happened? Why did it not work out? Was What was my part or what part did I play in any relationship or any situation, right? Um, envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Um, and so, you know, envy is, is just, you know, not a good thing. Um, I feel like there's grief connected to envy here for some of you. There could have been some type of jealousy within a community that caused some level of disappointment and grief for you that's been hard for you to get over. Um, and, and this is spirit just, you know, again, for, for the cross watcher that is watching because you just fucking hate Scorpio and you want to know what's going on. You know, uh, you are the same, but with different challenges, just like Scorpio. We are all one, but with different challenges, right? So there's no need to be envious of someone. Scorpio, you or cross watcher, right? But I feel like it's just the energy of like understanding, um, even looking at somebody that's been extremely envious of you and caused some level of grief in your past, looking at it like, all right, well, you know, um, I'm just the same as you, but with different challenges, right? So, you know, you might think that my life might be better than yours, but you know, I've got this, this, and this going on behind the scenes. It's like, you don't ever know what somebody has been through or has going on in their life currently. Um, and so for some of you, I feel like I'm picking up this energy of, if like you only knew what my life has really been like, you wouldn't be that jealous, right? Um, so maybe this has also caused like a bit of grief and kind of I'm feeling like there's a spiritual awakening connected to this. There was something that you were meant to learn. Um, and again, now there's like new community here that's positive, right? So whatever it was, Scorpio, it was only meant to help you grow spiritually. Um, pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So there could have been almost like for some of you, and I'm feeling like this is past energy too, like, and there's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself, but like almost in this like peacock energy, see me almost, um, you know, a little too, you know, in a lower vibration, you know, getting into that ego, t ego a little too much, right? Or, you know, look at me, I make this much money, I do this, right? Don't you wish this was your life? But really under all that, you know, it's kind of like there's some shit going on, but there was envy here from other people uh, that caused drama, chaos, because we had the five of wands that caused disappointment and hurt. And there was just a bunch of shit going on deep down underneath anyway, right? Um, and so Scorpio, it is kind of looking at a situation with an understanding, right? Like I see myself and everyone. This is understanding compassion if you dealt with envious energies. Um, but this is also, again, understanding like, you know, how to, how, um, again, like what role did you play? Like how, where was your ego and the situation that could have not saying that, I mean, it's not your fault if you trigger people either, right? That's somebody else's own issue. But again, it's that cause and effect energy of how you're interacting with people and you know, just life, right? How people see you, perceive you. Here's this imagination. So I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind, right? And I feel like, again, this is confirmation with the Seven of Cups being overall energy. A lot of you pulled your out. <laughs> so I was going to say, pull yourself, pulled yourself out of, but I almost said asses. So <laughs> a lot of you pulled your asses out of like this energy of, you know, sadness, grieving, loss, um, things that were negative, right? Situations, um, uh, where there was drama and jealousy and stuff like you got creative with whatever this transformation has been in your life. Um, it did bring a spiritual awakening or this is spirit saying, look, this is moving forward. The energy that is going to be bringing you options, right? Um, I love it. Let's do one more. 
surrender. I release my, uh, all right, two more. <laughs> I release my need to control, okay? So surrendering, there's something that you do. It's like spirit, whether this is just a way of thinking, a way of doing something, something that you're doing that you shouldn't be doing or just need you feeling like you need control over something here it's surrendering right realizing like okay there's nothing i can do about a situation i can't force something i can't force a person to care about me i can't force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do whatever it is scorpio it's understanding okay there is a need all right to just surrender the need to control something here um and then I accept my responsibility for my well-being with the blame card. And this is that energy of understanding, like, especially with that ego, right? Like, all right, well, when it basically comes down to it, playing the blame game does you no good, right? Cross watcher or Scorpio, right? You have to accept the responsibility for your own well-being. It is no one else's fault but yourself, right? I mean, the situations, I'm not saying... You know, when shit fucked up, they are crazy people in this world. I understand that. I'm going through some shit myself, right? So, you know, things happen and sometimes you're like, all right, well, you have to accept responsibility for your well-being, like blaming somebody for, I don't know, I guess that's, what is a good example? Um, something happening and you feeling like it ruined your life. Well, okay, now, but what can you do about fixing your life? Getting into the solution, right? Okay, instead of blaming somebody or feeling like stuck in a victim mentality, you have to step forward into a, an, an, into a mentality of, all right, well, I, ex I accept responsibility, lightning confirmation for my well-being. So I got to do what it is that I got to do for me to be okay no matter what, right? So I could sit here and be blaming your motherfucking ass all day for my problems. What is that going to do for me? Nothing, right? Some of you, because the storm, the thunder right now too, I'm feeling with this energy, that's the drama that you've been dealing with. It's like envy, pride, ego, control in situations. Not you, it's just like energy's drama, back and forth, competitive energies, blame games. Like, it's just like enough is enough. Maybe, again, some of you, I feel like you've already created, had an awakening, been creative about some type of options and getting yourself out of a situation, right? And if, it's an, if this isn't the energy that you've gotten yourself into, this is what Spirit is saying is coming, right? Or this is this is the, the shift, right? Um, for some of you, really trust your intuition with the High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles coming out too. Uh, with something that has to do with work right now, money. What other messages do we have in regards to this? Um, there's success here. Okay, so if you feel like, uh, this is a good message, if you feel like, uh, trust your intuition, you're not going to be steered in the wrong direction and as far as money is concerned here, there's success on the table for you, Scorpio. Um, maybe this is why Spirit is saying you, you need to be in the here and now, need to need, release the need to control a situation, release some ego in a situation, release some blame, release all of that negative shit that actually leaves you in a low vibration or a lower vibration, right? Um, but I, I mean, because you want to get in a higher vibration to get something better, right? So... What other messages do I have in regards to this for Scorpio with the Eight of Pentacles, Six of Fire? Clarify, Ace of Pentacles, baby. <laughs> Bam, right? So uh, this is a divine blessing, right? So again, I feel like Spirit is going to give you a hint, right, with a High Priestess energy, uh, an intuitive kick, nudge, whatever you want to call it, as far as something as money is concerned. Um, and if you've been having this thought, idea, there's success here connected to it. And with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, it is, it is a uh, huge blessing. There, there will be strategy, okay, and required here, Scorpio, with whatever this is with the King of Swords. But uh, Knight of Wands energy with the Queen of Swords or King of Swords, excuse me, to me, um, It's having to take bold action, right? Um, having a plan, though. The King of Swords is very precise. 
Um, let, me, let me clarify. See what I'm clarify what message I'm getting before I say anything else. Spirit, help me um, clarify this Ace of Pentacles with the King of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles again, showing up. So there's an energy here, Scorpio. Watching something that you do or you're doing, maybe it has to do with work, money. Um, the only reason I'm confused is I got the Seven of Pentacles. So let's clarify why we have that, because then we have... This could be, the Two of Cups could be a business or a partnership. It doesn't always have to be um, working with somebody in a, this is a soulmate. It could be a soulmate. It doesn't have to be a relationship soulmate. This could be somebody you're coming together within a community or something and working with in some way, shape, or form. Temperance is divine guidance, Sagittarius energy. But why do we have the Seven of Swords? The Lovers and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, let me clarify the Six of Pentacles. Scorpio energy. Seven of Swords again. Oh, hold on. We got the Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Six of Swords. All right. You're getting wish fulfillment. You're getting something that you've been wanting. Something that you've been wanting, whether it's some type of partnership with a person or uh, some type of book. Because this can also be a divine blessing like... Um, you know, uh, with the pentacles, a divine blessing, a new path. It doesn't necessarily have to be with money. It can be a new path. Eight of pentacles could be working with someone, having success working with someone, right? Um, taking bold action, king of swords. This is a very strategic person, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. I feel like because we've got this energy watching, let me clarify, who is this knight of swords? There's something strategic here about something going on with this energy, Knight of Pentacles. Good karma. Karma wanted to come out. Then the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, judgment. Okay, so we've got somebody here that's been watching you and made a decision. This is somebody who has been in an independent energy, whether it's somebody that's like, uh, just, I don't, you know, need anybody, right, with the Nine of Pentacles. Very, it's a very independent energy. Um, or single, either way. It's somebody that's not connected to anybody else right now, Scorpio, making a decision. They've been watching you. Now, again, it could be somebody independently working, right? And there's a partnership coming together. Um, but we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody somebody lying about an um, interest here also. Mm -hmm. 
with you, Scorpio. It feels like with the lovers here, the number six could be significant because that heart has the number six here in it. Um, tower energy, Gemini, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, somebody watches what you do. Okay, now I could be talking to another reader again. Um, a truth speaker, look, because the King of Wands speaks the truth, right? So somebody watches what you do. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? We've had karma come out. That wasn't supposed to be that way. There's the tower. Why do we have the tower again? Somebody watches what you do. They like what you do. They're scared of you? Interesting. Not, there, maybe it's an intimidation thing. I don't know what this is, Scorpio. Are you scared someone here? Why? What's the moon energy here with the five of swords? Showing up for Scorpio. Things are hidden coming to light. The queen of swords. It can be in regards to an air sign energy with the queen of swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, feminine energy. Here's our friend group. Three of cups, seven of pentacles. Um, I just feel like there was something that's come to light. Maybe somebody watches you and you like told something here. You've something you've brought light to something about somebody's friend group or they, I don't know what this is. There's something here, like something's come to light in regards to something here where now there's loss and regret in a situation. Somebody sat in a situation like, uh, you know, past its expiration date, got in a comfort zone and a lifestyle. Somebody possibly also got played by an Aquarius. And there's an offer of stability coming in towards you, Scorpio. So I don't, one more card. King of Wands. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sag. Masculine doesn't necessarily have to be. This could just be truth. Somebody bringing you a level of truth. Two of Pentacles. And trying to bring balance back to a situation here with you energetically with a Sun card. This is something being exposed. So I feel like whatever this is, it will come out like be exposed, whether it's like, you know, through communication here. What's this energy? Let's clarify. There's something about money also coming out with the Ten of Pentacles, all right? Six of Cups, this could be some something. Ugh. The Ten of Pentacles can be inheritance, Six of Cups can be family, and then the World card. There's somebody here at a distance from you or there has been that's manipulated something, Scorpio. There's that King of Swords again with the Ten of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Masculine Energy. Um... There's a lot of conflict here over somebody trying to start over for some reason, but Spirit is telling you whatever this is, again, whatever you've experienced, again, it's just take the good with the bad here with the Hermit card Virgo energy. Um, there's the energy of just needing to do some soul searching, moving forward, trust your intuition, making the right decision because it looks like you've got great energy coming towards you. Um, almost like new friend group tribe community vibe here whether it's working with some type of community um definitely partnering up with someone that could turn romantic here as well let's do love for scorpio let's see what messages do we have in regards for this reading for scorpio in regards to love Scorpio, a lot of you, there's an energy here, um, could be another Scorpio, doesn't have to be, that's been sad and trying to manifest here, um, a new beginning here, a path with you, uh, 
So this person, um, you could feel like they're a player with a nine of wands energy too, but this is also the energy of somebody, you know, um, independent here. Okay, this is somebody, this is the same energy we're getting the nine of pentacles and the Leo, uh, knight of wands energy, somebody who's really used to or just being, um, I feel like with the nine of pentacles, the knight of wands, it's almost like my, uh, forever bachelor energy or bachelorette, whatever, somebody who's really comfortable just being alone, uh, whatever happened here, somebody wants to come in, here's that king of wands, bring truth to a situation in regards to you and how they feel about you, Scorpio, with the ten of cups, so, interesting. Now, if it's not a love situation, it's the energy of somebody coming in here, an opportunity um, that you're going to be doing some soul searching in regards to... Again, here's the Nine of Cups, wishes coming true, somebody wanting to work with you or collab. Now, and for others of you, it is this energy of, you know, it could be somebody wanting to do both with you, but just the energy of somebody wanting to come back um, and make a situation right with you, Scorpio, okay? Um, I'm going to end it here because we're probably already way into it. I hope this message was helpful and I'd like to get some more messages out today. Um, again, if you'd like a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. If you would like to make a donation, that information also is in the description box below as well, Scorpio. Until next time, I love you guys so, so much. Bye.